The vehicle we've got here today, um, both a Coyote, which is the 6x6 variant, and also a Jackal 2. These are names given to the vehicles by the British Army in line with their terminology they use for all their protective mobility vehicles. The 6x6 vehicle, it has a gross vehicle weight of 10.5 tonnes, um, powered by a 6.7 litre engine, has full-time six-wheel drive, which can be engaged as and when required. The vehicle's capable of about 75 miles an hour on the road and over 50 miles an hour off-road. One of the other unique features is that it's equipped with um, air suspension, um, enabling it to be lowered for on-road and raised for off-road, uh, and then create an extremely stable firing platform by putting the suspension actually onto its bump stops. And uh, how far along are you on the integration work of this system? Um, well, it's uh, early stages at the moment. Um, the vehicle is a um, very, very capable vehicle. It's currently being used on Op Cabret out in Eastern Europe um, and has also been taken from a UOR purchase into the core fleet. Currently, primary role is in the light recce role, but it doesn't have an, any integrated surveillance um, equipment. Through this gap in capability, we've identified that we need to work with other experts in order to create a, a full and capable system. Um, so what we've done to, to date is we've done this preliminary integration to effectively prove the concept and uh, start to sell it. The next steps will be to receive some funding in order to fully uh, develop the system um, and go through the full uh, package of design work so that the vehicle is able to support the system, whether it be from um, electrical power or pneumatic power, the installation is safe, um, how, understand how the system um, affects the vehicle dynamics, etc. So as a design authority, we can actually sign that installation off. With the idea being that while the British Army hasn't yet bought this system, um, as they form their requirements for the future, we, we would like to be in the position whereby they are able to effectively press print on a design, reducing the lead time uh, to getting it into service. The HMT itself is uh, in service with the Australians. Um, they've got uh, over 120 vehicles with the Danish who are looking at similar systems and we're currently delivering a fleet of 25 vehicles to the Norwegians at the moment. And yes, they all have similar requirements um, for systems of this type. Yeah, basically what we've got here at um, DVD is a, a module which comprises the three basic elements of ORDS. Um, it's the ground surveillance radar, optimised in this role for air targets as well, to provide 360 degree coverage around the vehicle. It integrated with electro-optics pack, both a high definition day camera and a thermal camera, giving 24 hour capability. And then on the side we have integrated a directional RF um, disrupt for any um, malicious use of counter UAVs. Um, in this um, outing with Supercat, it's really the utility of the vehicle to put in a module in the back. So we have a ready-to-go module, um, proven components that can easily be integrated as surveillance, electro-optics, 24 hours a day, and then on top of that, the capability to uh, counter malicious use of UAVs. So uh, can you describe how a typical engagement would work using the system? Uh, yeah, basically we use the onboard system to know uh, the vehicle, current vehicle position and relative to north, any tilt, etc. Um, we then detect using the radar. Um, it's giving you a pattern of life, but we're looking for a particular radar cross-section. Uh, we then identify that through the camera. We can track it using a video trackers on the system but then we once we get that from the radar we can then hand that off we get that long bearing range and height etc so it can be part of the integrated picture um, so you've got other assets that you can then call on depending on where the, where the, um, the threat is coming from. And is the odd system in service at the moment? Uh, yes it is yeah yeah. Can you say who it is? I can't specify where it is but it's in active service actually military service yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Okay thank you.